Yo, what's going on guys, Kryptonic here, and today I'm going to be talking about one of NVIDIA's newest projects being RTX Voice, which is a very awesome software that I'm going to be covering today. So if you guys do end up enjoying the video, make sure to drop a like on it. But anyways, guys, let's get straight into the video. Alrighty guys, now that we're over on NVIDIA's website, it basically just tells you on the website what it is and what it does for the program, and this is being advertised as an RTX software, so you know, something that benefits the 20 series and up, but the thing about it is that it does work with older generations of NVIDIA graphics cards, but the older it is, it does take a bigger hit on the graphics card performance, so that's something to keep in mind if you have a 20 series and up, this software it just works really easily, and if not, there's actually a forum, and on the forum, Forum, they explain how to do everything to get it working and I have a GTX 1660 and it doesn't work right off the bat so just by doing this little modification takes a whole less than 30 seconds and there is even someone who made a direct you know .exe just to download it and install it with the modification already applied so it's even easier for you to do and now just swapping over to what the actual program looks like if you just look up RTX you guys are gonna see that you guys have actually been listening to it this whole time since I started recording and I'm basically going to be showing you guys what it sounds like when I turn it off and you guys are going to be blown by how much sound there actually is coming from my microphone at this current time so if I just turn off the setting you guys should already be able to hear how different everything sounds it's there is a lot more noise just coming into the microphone Right now, this is what the microphone basically sounds like with no noise suppression whatsoever. My sister is on her computer. There's a window fan going on. Just It's because it's really hot, so the fan has to be on. And, you know, this is just what my microphone sounds like plugged in directly into my audio interface. This is the Audio-Technica AT2020. And now if I just turn on noise suppression again, you give it a few seconds, you let that turn on and once it's turned on you can see that it does modify the sound of your voice a little bit but for the most part just through AI it's able to get rid of noise basically all around you which is incredible because it just means that if you have a little bit of a microphone that's more sensitive or something like that that this software based program can basically solve all of your problems without you having to go out and necessarily buy a whole different microphone and it's only going to get better efficiency wise with a you know GPU utilization just because right now it's in beta so it's only going to get better as time goes on so it's definitely something that I think if you guys want to make your microphone sound even slightly better if you guys use a noise gate in OBS this will route it through primarily through everything so you can use your microphone route it through the RTX app and then just in a zoom call or something like that use that and it'll work right off the bat so if you guys are using zoom for school or anything like that it'll make any microphone you have just not pick up that much noise which is crazy and I just think it's crazy because it's a program that works so easily and for the most part it's only going to get better and better and since it's free it's something that you can always just keep on checking on later and later as time goes on well anyways guys thank you guys so much for checking out this video if you guys did end up enjoying this video make sure to drop a like on it let me know what you guys think about rtx audio i think it's definitely something that's going to be taking people by surprise because it's an ai software based program that works really well for any microphone and obviously the better your microphone is the better it will sound with this you know program running in the back but you know even for the lower end mics i'm interested to see how that works out with just cheaper xlr mics and overall just how it works with different mics and i definitely want to be doing my own testing on that soon so if you guys did end up enjoying the video drop a like and i will catch you guys later peace guys